A lot of people are like, what the hell is going on with Abby Nicole and Diamond? Oh. They're not gonna tell you, but I will. From what it looked like, it looked like Abby Nicole and Diamond were forming a really good friendship. They were moving in together, they were eating Chinese food, going on walks in the parks, kissing each other sometimes in the mouth, doing fake drama for some clout. And that's why you know this one's real because they ain't gonna talk about it. Okay, maybe they will down the line, but I'm just saying. And then all of a sudden, Diamond decided to go on Instagram Live and inform everyone that she does not F with Abby. But you, you fall out. No, it, it's what do you think? If you expose what really yeah. happened, that it'd be bad on her end. She can't say no. Right. But the thing is, I'm not that type of person. I'm a type of person. Oh, if I say I'm with you and I'm gonna leave it at that. Me, I'm the type of person, if I fall out with somebody, I don't go telling they this and I feel like she's that type. So I don't f with Abby, that's that. What it is, what it's not, because that's not Kennedy speaking, that's um, follow. Somebody say Kennedy speaking. You lie. <laughs> but I'm not going to try, I'm not going to put Paula in this because it ain't got nothing to do with her. You guys should already know who Paula is. I spoke about her last year. But I know what's going on, yeah. but I don't want to put my... I don't do that. Like, if somebody got something to do with my situation, I'm not about to drag everybody in there to put their input on sh But if I don't f*** with you, I just don't f*** with you. So just Whatever somebody else going to do on their they end, they f*** to do it. Diamond also implies that she's acting like something she is not. Yeah, I'm the type of friend, like, I'm just cool. Like, I'm, I'm not about to be here playing like I'm something and I'm not. And that's that. And she also implies that Abby took her wig. This is her wig. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the long one like this was mine too, so. You wear my wig. Take my wig off, okay? Girls really share wigs with each other. I don't know, that's just gross to me. It grosses me out that ladies will share a wig and even sell it. Like, ew, nits. Like, I don't know, there might be some crabs in there. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute now. And while you're watching, guys, and you want to see drama about me and Abby in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you get notified. I'm a low-key fan. I'm subscribed to Martin Lewis. And let's beat the last video and beat 5,000 likes. Let's get this video to 6,000 likes. Simon then brings God in it and says that God removes people for a reason. But sometimes... God will remove the people and that's that. I ain't come here to bash her or none of that. I just don't f*** with it. That's that. Abby sees this on IG and she decides to go on her IG story and say, In a world where people gotta announce who they don't f*** like, if you don't f*** somebody, why do we need to announce it? But alright, okay. Pause the video and let me know what you think in the comment section below when people go on social media and let you know that they don't F with them. One side I understand because as fans, you guys are always going to ask, do you still F with this person? Are you still friends with this person? And I'm sure it gets annoying. Uh, with you. Hell no, bitch. <laughs> Baby over here, she, she looking for and I'm ready to get her a so what you trying to do? Period, bitch. Slide in my period, DM. Period, pool. You know, pool, period. <laughs> Bro, I am <laughs> sick. <laughs> my outfit. Oh. <laughs> and then shows her block list and tells everyone who she doesn't F with. At this point, it's like, okay, we get it. Do you really have to go an extra mile and show completely everybody? Like half of these people, I'm wondering if they're even on social media. <laughs> since since we being petty, before you go talk about how you don't know me, how about let's take my wig off, please and thank you. I don't get people like I was just in your face in the house, got my whole wig on, talking crazy like who does that? Oh, like what the? Like what? Like what? 
it. She then says, I'm not about to beef with someone I live with on social media. I said what I said. I'm done here. After that, Abby did a collaboration with uh, what that white girl's name. I forgot her name. They did a mukbang and it got really intense because you could hear like Diamond yelling at them. <laughs> That's rude. Um, <laughs> I just look for somebody who, like she said. And throughout the whole video, Abby and her friend are throwing shade at Diamond. But like, but like, I don't know. Try to come to me. I can't go to him. Facts. Is that we, we, we don't chase these little boys. They just especially the best friend. Word. No, the best friend. Yeah. So what I look for in a friend. Let me say best friend. What I look for in a best friend is someone that don't judge you. Okay. Someone that genuinely loves you for you and, and is genuine, like anything they tell you is genuine. Someone that wants the best for you. Honest. Honest. <clears throat> and not putting up a facade and look, he hates you in the background. Let me tell you my biggest thing. Like, you have, I, 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 I told people yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yeah all the time. Yeah. And I don't got time for that fake stuff. You know what I'm saying? But to me, that's the realest thing you can do is tell me when I'm on. Cause yeah. And so you. After that, Diamond makes a decision to move out of the crib. So, she don't know I'm moving. So, we're doing this in silence. <laughs> now, I don't know why she didn't. I don't know if Abby needs a new person. Because allegedly, her name is on the lease. So, I'm guessing maybe that was to, like, I don't know, be in to Abby because then Abby has to find someone to help pay her bills if you know what I mean or well, the rent it is a two-bedroom apartment Abby ends up making a new video and talking a little bit about the situation without giving too much detail on it throughout this whole journey y'all know the bull like y'all know it's bull I don't even gotta say nothing but y'all already could peep and know what type of time people on and I just really appreciate y'all for like rocking with me even though I've kept my mouth shut throughout the whole situation, that just shows that y'all really know who y'all subscribe to. Like, that shows that y'all really know what type of y'all with. And that's just the best way I could say it. And I just appreciate y'all for that. I'll probably talk about it later on when I just feel like it's the right time. Right now, I don't feel like talking about it and going into detail as far as what issues or what events led up to us. But me li know? Li me living by myself, okay? We're at peace. Yeah, we're at peace now. Yeah, I thank God for that. And I just want to say I can't wait to see what more God has to come. Right. You shut the f up. Then throughout the video, she starts to shade Diamond. Let me check for you. Uh, security. Yeah, this is my house. She's in my house. Somebody my arrest her. You don't do sheep couches, baby. My mama talked to you better, huh? <laughs> better uh -huh. Mama told me that. She implies that Diamond took things from her home. I need new candles since people decided to take my stuff. Shows her dirty carpet. Uh, I'm happy. New beginnings by myself. It's happy. I've got a new couch coming on the way. Um, that carpet dirty. We gotta do something about that. But on a real note, Diamond, when you rent a place, you don't leave and then leave the room with dirty carpet, okay? Like, what were you doing on the floor that is so damn dirty? And then she shows her dirty mattress. I'm so happy, like, this, this is the best. Ew. We're gonna talk about reasons for adult bed waiting. Anyway, Abby ends up showing her new roommate. <laughs> You. I look crazy right now. Yeah. It's the pack. Come here, pack. It's the pack. We come in three. What you talk about? If you have a problem, see What's the pack. The you guys? See oh, the, is that okay? Oh, yeah. oh, they're a pack. And it just happens to be Polar. Remember what she said last time. I'm but saying, I know I'm, what's going on. Yeah. But I don't want to. I'm curious, either Paula's really fake or she changed her mind and realized Diamond is this evil lady and she should be friends with Abby. Yeah. 
I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you think that happened. Now, in a video called Addressing Everything, you guys asked about me. Abby touches again about the situation, but not telling you guys everything. What happened between me and you know who? Now, realistically, you guys, you guys know I share and tell you guys everything. But this situation is a whole different ball game. And it's honestly a deep and messy situation. And I just feel as though it's not worth it anymore. She moved out, she's gone. She talks about why she was throwing shade due to the fact that she was keeping everything in for nine months. And I know y'all peep me throwing shade or whatever, but if you want me to be real and raw with you, the reason why I threw the shade that I threw is because I kept my mouth shut about the situation for so long. Where now I just feel like I can't help it anymore. You know, especially because she's out. I feel like I should be speaking my piece. But then again, I realize that it's really not worth it. So, again, I do apologize if me throwing shade has been annoying. She then apologizes for throwing shade at Diamond. Yeah, I do apologize if the pettiness or the shade has been a little annoying. But it's more so me just... Bruh, feeling bruh, relieved bruh. that I'm out of a situation that I have been dealing with for nine months and I'm just happy that I'm relieved. And she makes it very, very clear that she would never be friends with Diamond again. You and oh girl will ever be friends again. Honestly, I don't see myself being friends with an individual like her, but I don't have no hate in my heart for anybody. And that's just facts. I don't have no hate in my heart. Do I feel like Maybe, maybe one day we can talk and be cordial. That I don't know either because this person's individual, this individual person likes to yell and argue and I really am grown and I don't have time for that. Other than that, do I see myself being friends with that person again? Hell no. Okay guys, I'm about to tell you what happened, but screw, screw, comment in the section below what you think happened between Diamond and Abby Nicole. Now Abby, now these are some exclusives, I don't think anyone has this. Abby was leaving dirty crumbs everywhere, okay? It was all down in her comment section of her videos. A lot of them saying, These news people don't move and she done straight switched up on Diamond. Binara, how you know Diamond ain't the one who switched up on her? Abby says, Exactly! <laughs> what happened to Diamond? Roy, I want that star of the time. Abby says, none existed. I'm happy for Abby and Kay, but let's not be mean towards Dime. Regardless, at least she now out and managed to buy her own penthouse. For our age, that's a big accomplishment. Let's at least be happy for her. Abby replies saying, but she didn't buy it. Lord, her mom is paying for her rent. And this is the one that gave it all away. Why y'all just don't tell us the reason behind the move out? Someone says Diamond got mad because Abby was in 600 Breezy's video and Abby hearted it. So 600 Breezy is an artist, okay? And Abby was recently in his video and Abby has a crush. <laughs> Um, but I just think I have a confession, okay? Why you find your eyes at me? So you think you really find a way? You question? That's what you're telling me? Why are you asking at me? I'm trying to shoot your shot. I'm trying to shoot my shot. On that note, well, let me Breezy, if you ever see this video... <laughs> He probably saw Abby without her makeup and was like, Ooh, catfish. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they're still talking. But allegedly, and I don't know if this is true, this is according to Abby because, Abby, why else are you going to like that post unless it happened? Diamond was mad because she was in the video. Maybe Diamond likes this guy and told Abby that, and Abby flirted with him or did something with him, and that's why Diamond's mad. Maybe that could be the reason. Or maybe Diamond is jealous that she wasn't in the video with this guy. They're, they're the scenarios that I came with, but honestly, I really don't know on the situation. Hey, let me give some advice to these social media influencers, including Diamond. Before you call someone out saying that you don't F with them, you should tell them, okay? 
I don't care who it is, any social media influencer, if you're friends with me and you don't F with me anymore and you want to tell your audience, which I completely understand because your audience are going to ask you, you should come to the person, you should come to me and let me know, be like, yo, I'm just gonna inform my audience that we are, uh, you know, we're not effing with each other anymore. I'm gonna be respectful about it. I ain't gonna throw shade. I'm just gonna say that we both agree that we should not talk about it on social media and we have gone our own way. That's the respectful way to do it without any drama, without any explosions, without people going crazy. Yes, people are going to ask you, but those people who ask you clearly don't respect you because you said that you guys don't want to trash each other or anything like that. You know what I mean? And from there on, you guys can't shade each other. You guys can't do ish. You got to be respectful because if you're not going to be respectful, and all this ish happened, this is what's gonna happen. People are gonna make shade, people are gonna question things, you're gonna go all quiet, then people are gonna realize your other drama was all fake. So that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Be real, be transparent. Or if this happened to me, because hell, I'm all for the views, man. I will get a counselor and I will get my friend and we will sit down and talk about it with the counselor and try to fix the problem and get a hell of a lot of views. Like, why not? You might as well. You're all showing your lives. You're all being transparent. It's funny how a lot of these YouTubers say they're transparent, but when it comes to these type of dramas, they're like, zoop. Oh, it didn't happen to me. I don't know what's going on. What happened? Oh my God, she stole my candle. Oh, she stole my wig. She stole my vagina wig. But hey, what do you think? about this whole situation guys let me know in the comment section below guys let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about most of the time i talk about things because you guys tell me i literally do not watch these youtubers okay i don't watch any of them that i speak about in fact i pay people now to watch them but i will still appreciate if you guys inbox me on ig twitter or whatever and go yo martin did you hear about this did you see this i will really appreciate it or your conspiracy or if you want me to do a little segment and let you know if you're reaching or not. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well with the bell because if you don't, guys, seriously, Diamond's gonna go to your house and steal your wig and so is Abby. So you better hit the subscribe button with the bell. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.